Okay, so Tech's given us the go-ahead. So the next run will be Drone Races by the BPG-13, and it'll be All Cups Beginner. There we go. Okay, ready, yeah? All good to go. Right, okay. So, let's do your countdown and then we'll go, yeah? Okay. So, okay, okay. this is Drone Racers, a LEGO racing game from 2002. As you can see, we've got some pixels, cars, cars, probably many people have built to sell them. Unfortunately, I'm just down to the moment. Um, this game, it's got its flaws, given the fact that it's an old game. But, long story short, LEGO racing game, think of it as say, I don't know, Mario Kart meets Lego. Fairly fairly straightforward. It's pretty much, that's what it is, it's pretty much Lego meets Mario Kart, so pretty interesting game though. Fairly short. Um, this game will run at higher frame rates and higher resolutions, but long, basically the main gist of it. Um, so it's based in a world called Drone, I believe it is. And in terms of what goes on in this drone world, we don't really know. In fact, if I'm honest, I skipped the entire story of this game. So all I know is just the racing part. But for the most part of this run, so all we got to do is we need to beat, I think it's five MCRs, if I'm correct. MCR being like cups. Um, there's kind of not a lot else there other than like, we're going to do all five of those. We've got a mixture of tracks. So the first one, I believe, I think this is Foundry. Uh, we've got one coming up later on which has a loop de loop in it. And that I believe is. What's that? Like loop de loop? It's quite fun. So, a lot of the time I'll be spamming through menus pretty quickly just because of the fact that, well, in terms of what cars we're going to be driving, we've got like tarmac cars, off road cars, we've got dragsters, but you won't see any of the dragsters, thankfully. But uh, yeah, for the most part, fairly straightforward. Get from A to B, circuit racing. Most of these are two laps. And when we get to the later circuits, um, we'll actually have, so I think there's one that's coming up, which is like a Grand Canyon sort of one. And the Grand Canyon one basically has a, uh, like a, a tornado machine. So like a load of electric bolts, they all come together, make a tornado, and you've got to avoid them. Unfortunately, if you get sucked into them, your car goes flying. So this is one of the many power-ups in the game, and all I can call it is hover. Just hover mode. There's not really much else to call it, to be honest. But, um, we're already lapping AI. Okay, that's pretty, pretty incredible. Um, but basically, a lot of these power-ups that you pick up, a lot of them we will be using straight away, um, but a lot of them we won't be using. So it's kind of it's RNG with what you pick up, really. You can do that. So we have <laughs> literally we have. Um, a few power-ups, so we have a hover power-up, we have a mine power-up, uh, a booster, what this, which is an electric EMP thing. Now luckily, there's nothing in front of me, so I can't actually use it against anything, which is fine. But we have other power-ups, including a rocket, so if I can catch this guy up, oh, hopefully. There we go. There we go. And can I get him before the end? Yes, I can. Nice. So I think it's three races in the first one. There we go. Okay, so I think it's the last race of the first MCR game. But yeah, it is a LEGO game uh, for those that are interested. Now, just to make this run a slight bit quicker, we've decided to use uh, faster cars this time around. Now, on my PB, I wasn't using that many faster cars, so this should be an easy PB pretty much for me. Uh, Provided I don't mess it too much, and obviously the AI doesn't hit me too hard. So that's had a mind of its own, must have found something. The other thing you might notice is the steering. The controls are a bit all over the place, should we say. It's a bit jolted, but once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. So one thing that I've learned is through the tips and tricks of this game, that if you can place a mine on top of a um, speed booster, so all these green mats that you see, so one of these, for example. If you manage to lay a mine on top of all them, chances are the AI will hit it because of that stupid. So basically, it'll just go bang, pretty much. 
And can we get him from behind? Come on, missile, don't fail me now. There he goes. Also, okay then, serious air time. Oh yeah, we get this. Basically, that's like, get out of my way. You're in my way. A lot of the power-ups are fairly easy to, to drive with. Um, the only thing is, is that in terms of what you have... Oh, hang on, wrong, wrong MCR, and she's frozen. Hang on a sec. There we go. Two. There we go. So I always skip the qualifying on this one. Uh, just because it makes the run a lot faster than it should be, basically. But, um, yeah, so like I said, Lego game, 2002. It's part of actually, funnily enough, uh, anyone that's played the Lego Racer series will probably be sort of familiar with Lego racing games as a whole. Mainly because this, weirdly enough, as I found out, um, is part of the Lego racing series. But the thing is, they never classed it as Lego racing or Lego racers or whatever you want to call it. Just one of those things. But yeah, it's part technically, I class it as part of the Lego Racer series. But for some weird reason, they named it Drone Racers. Like I said, you're right. like I said before, Drone Racers, yeah, racing in drone, you get the idea. Also, that machine you just saw us go past, let's see if we can get the car back in, in line. The machine you saw us go past with all the lightning bolts, that's the one with the tornadoes. So basically, in a minute, when we come back through this, we're going to have a tornado right in the middle of the track, and we've got to avoid it. Usually what I do is go to the left-hand side, and that usually does the trick. This is actually one of the other power-ups as well. So you can see from this side, that's a... I don't know what you call them, actually. Blade? Razor thing? And unfortunately, if you're like me, it can unfortunately hit you. I don't like using that power-up. In fact, if you can not have that power-up, then it's better. Well, here's the tornado. Luckily, that actually getting us damaged helps us in, a, in the long term because we don't actually get sucked into the tornado, which is nice. Uh, I always try and keep up the health as everything else as well. So, drop the mine over there. Also, we do have one more lap, I've just realised. I thought it was two laps. Never mind. Chances are, usually what I do is just get rid of any power-ups I get. So, you'll see me pick up a missile and just fire it straight away. Mainly because of the fact that, well... There's no point having it in front of me if I'm, if I'm in the lead. If I've got, say, something I can place behind, say, for example, a mine, then it's not too bad because I can just use that. But everything else, nah. So this is going to get a bit tasty. Can we get out? Oh, yeah, it's just about. So that was the tornado suction ring, if you want to call it that. You get sucked into it pretty easy. Um, it becomes a bit more difficult as you get through like the later difficulties. So obviously this being beginner, fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Uh, yeah, so this power up, I think I mentioned it before, it's like a force field. Only briefly saw it, but it's a force field and it actually improves the top speed of the car. Which is nice. There we go. There we go. This first race done. I have no idea what the second race is. I always forget which order the race is going. Oh, I know this one. Drome. Not Drome. Array, actually. I got it wrong. Drome is the name of the city. Yeah, this is Array. This actually has a loop de loop. So you'll notice in a minute that we're like, ooh, we get to go around and come back around on ourselves. Like I said, I've no idea how this, is, this run's actually going to go with AI, personally. But I think we should be alright, if I'm honest. Like I said, it's very. RNG manipulative, but for a beginner cup, you don't actually have to worry about the AI being a problem just because they're that easy to defeat. If I was going for, say, I don't know, the expert level, for example, then obviously it'd take a bit more time to actually complete all the races and everything. Funnily enough, this is actually one of my favourite tracks um, in this game, mainly because of the fact that if I can fire it at him, there we go, slow him down, there we go. There we go. That's fine. We missed that one. But obviously, all the power-ups that we get are all the same ones that the AI gets. So if you see, say, an AI get something that we've got, for example, a missile or something else, so a force field or something like that, you often, obviously, the chances are you'll want to stay out of their way just because they've got the missile or they've got the power-up and it's not one that you want, really. 
Also, this car's pretty quick. Probably faster than I've ever been in these cars, to be honest. The soundtrack for this game isn't too bad, if I'm honest. It's one that you get used to eventually, but I think, like I said, this is my favourite track, only because of the music. Not for the reason that it's got a loop-de-loop -loop in it. There's a showdown, I believe, that you can do. Um, come the end of the game, also, that was lucky. Yeah, there's a showdown that you can do come the end of the or say the end of the game, about halfway through the game. And um, it's, I forgot what the guy's called now, it's like a showdown event against one of the racers, fellow racer. But he's not too bad to defeat really, I actually forget names of some of the characters that are on this, but it's actually pretty good, quite fun. And okay, so that's MCR2 done. Uh, we now move on to the third one, so we're about halfway there. Looking pretty good on time so far as well, so... I don't know how long... I always forget about this as well. But half the tracks I always forget about. I know in the last MCR, the tracks are wet, so chances are you often have, say... You know, you'll end up having less grip on the straights and things like that. Now, if I'm right... Should be fine. There we go, yeah. Max out the top speed a bit more. Also, try and get as many boost pads as you can. Just try and pull away from the AI if possible. The funny thing is, you can actually get like several power ups there in a row. If you don't get this, of course, the um, the force field, then it's not too bad. But if you do, then as you've seen just now, like I can't get any of the power ups when that's active. Whereas any other power ups, if I immediately use them just before picking them up, for example, say that one. Actually, no, that's not. That's not the one. Try pick something else up. Not a force field, but another power up. If I pick that one up, and whilst that's being used, I can immediately pick up a secondary power up. There we go. So, for example, if I use this and then run over the other power ups, then I can actually pick them up. And if, like, say, if I do this consistently, not that it matters too much, but if I do this, say, like now, I can do that, where I can get multiple things at once going on. Also, as mentioned, maybe as I mentioned before, but I'm quite wary of using them like spinner things. I don't know what you call them really. I just call them spinner things, but yeah, them spinner things are a real nuisance, especially when you fire them on a corner. If you're on a straight, it's not too bad because you can hit a target. The thing is, they don't target any particular car, so chances are if you throw one, you're probably going to get hit by it. It's pretty dangerous. Rockets are fine, they'll just fire in whatever direction you want, unless there's something in front of you. For example, an enemy, it locks onto it, then that AI is obviously going to be in trouble. There we go. Back to mine there for him. So obviously, because this is an old racing game, it's not too bad, if I'm honest. But, for the most part, I enjoy it. It's more of a chill run, if I'm honest to do in my spare time, so chances are half the time when I'm doing this run, I'm like, I fancy just having a lazy run, why not, I will go for this. It's nice and easy. Um, I think we're on next race now, what's this race? Ah, this is the Grand Canyon. I think this is the reverse layout? Yeah, reverse layout, I think it's extended as well. And i got automatic gears as well, which is helpful. So one of the things you can do on this game, most of the time, like you do in any racing game, you can pick between automatic and manual gears. Unfortunately, due to the game save, I don't actually have manual gears on all the cars. I have automatic. I mean, I much rather prefer automatic than manual, which is fine. But manual's a bit of a pain, especially when you miss the gears. Me being me, I haven't actually done much practice with manual gears in this game, just automatic. It's better if you do it with automatics, you can just concentrate on the driving aspect rather than actually trying to do anything else. If that makes sense? Also, two rockets in a row. Nice. I think I've had the misfortune of accidentally being hit by one of those rockets once. But luckily, that's never really happened that often, or ever in a run for that matter. The only ones that you get, can get hit by are mines and, as I said before, them. Um, what they call them, the machine things that you get. So I'm just gonna quickly go through here as it's gonna quickly spin around. Okay, this is fine. Nice. Oh, he can have that. There we go. 
It is, pra like I said, it is practically like Mario meets Lego. Except without, as I would put it, like, without the cartoonish characters. I think we're on lap two, yeah. Just got one on lap two. For the most part, though, like I said, it's a racing game, so it's meant to be fast anyway. Should be alright, I think. Right, where's the tornado now? If I'm right, he should be at the other end of this lot. Yes, he's there. I say he, it's not he. Thank you very much. I'm just going to go this way. Push him out of the way. Literally, half the AI can just move in a pretty much an instant of a second. Just like, yeah, why not? Just shove them out of the way. It's like, you're in my way, get out. Okay, I'll move you. Also, missed. Nice. Nice. One more race, I think this is. Yeah, the last one's the one I'm really, really actually getting worried about because of the fact that it's wet. It's the only, only problem with the last, last cut. Yeah. Nice. So this is an alternate route to the first track we played. So if you remember back at the start of the first cut, we did something which was called Foundry. And that, I think that was layout A. This is the B layout. Uh, funnily enough, we're going to be going back to the A layout in the last cup. And if I remember correctly, like I said, it'll be wet. So it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Oh dear. Also, the handling's got a bit to be desired for on this game, I'm not going to lie. Coming from a guy that plays a lot of racing games, especially stuff like this. It's definitely not got the best on in the world, I'll tell you that much. If you're someone who's into simulation, I wouldn't go after trying to play this game. Although, if you want to play something new, then by all means. I'm not only too bad. 35, 43, that's not too bad for a lot. I need to stop hitting that corner, god damn it. So, never mind. 11 seconds dead, damn. Not too bad. Like I said, for the most part, it's pretty much picking up power ups and using them to defend yourself, but with it being. Whoa! Okay then. Nice game physics there. Just flip the car around, because why not? Yeah, for the most part though, all you've got to do is get from A to B and beat the AI, but it's not too bad. Why am I driving a limousine? There we go. I think we're on the fourth one now, if I'm rightly. Hoping I'm not raced this one already. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we haven't done this one yet, nice. Not doing too bad on time, actually. I think we're going to be quite underestimate. Okay, so we're back to two lap races again. I think it's four two lap races, if I remember correctly. Nice. How do I go from six to first in an instant? Also, you have to watch out for the flying debris that comes from that machine. Mainly because if you hit it, obviously it'll slow you down. Fairly, I think this is fairly obvious, but yeah, it will slow you down, so you have to be very cautious. Nice. Leave somebody with a mine. Hopefully I don't hit that on my way back past again. So picking up health is pretty key to surviving all the races, but like I said, you won't actually need to worry about any of that. Until say when you get to the latter half of the game, which luckily we're not doing yet. Say so we're not doing we're not doing it in this run, so it's fine. So the AI should be fairly easy. So it'll just be like so mainly just circuit races. Also the fire that doesn't actually hurt you unless you stay too close to it. I I put the car right in front of the flames and the fire's just like, nope, we're not gonna hurt your car, because we're nice. Nice shot race, there we go. 
Okay, so that's one race down. I think we've got another three to go. Also, I tend to skip most of her dialogue because, to be honest, it's like, we don't really want to actually hear her talk. No, no, no. There isn't actually an element in this game which I haven't mentioned yet. Um, so, basically, you get to build your own Lego vehicles, but it's more of designed for spec. It's kind of hard to say. So, after defeating certain showdown rivals, you'll get build tokens. And the build tokens will allow you to build any car that you want, but only one car. You think, oh, that's not, that doesn't sound too bad. And believe me, it's not actually that bad. But then you've really got to think about what car you're going to build. Because otherwise, once you, when, basically when you've used that build icon, you won't actually be able to get it again. So it's kind of... It's kind of... I'm not, R, not RNG, but, you know, if you want to buy a certain car, you don't have to buy it. You just build it. That's the thing. You get credits in this game, and it's mainly just for upgrading the vehicles, not for building them or buying them, so to speak. You do that by winning showdown events. Like I said, you won't see any of them in this run because we don't encounter any showdown events. And you've kind of got to go out of the way of the main game to actually do them. So it's split up into cups, challenges, and showdowns, I think it is. I think, if I remember right, there's like a big race you do after you've done all of the cups and defeated all of the races. And it's that cup which you really need to keep an eye on. Long story short. Okay, so next race. The race, what are we on now? I think this is the race I'm thinking of. Yes, it is. It's that one again. Same one with the tornadoes. You notice there's a bit of a pattern forming here. It's like, wait a minute, we've done this trap before. Yes, we have. Unfortunately, with some racing games, and in this particular case, you'll be seeing a lot of the same track over and over, unfortunately. I know that might turn a lot of people off, but at the end of the day, it kind of provides a bit of unpredictable racing in one sense or another. But it all depends on the person, obviously. If you're very unlucky, by the way, you can actually get hit by that lightning machine. That's a nice jump. Like I said, I often send them off in whatever direction is in front of me, so it's like, right, I'm just going to send that off there, why not? These are a real pain though, these. I might just hold on to this actually and not bother using it. I have nothing to use it on, I can't fire it anywhere. I can try fire it at Tornado, but it won't do anything. That's a shame. Also, the best thing about these Tornadoes is because they're so unpredictable, the AI gets sucked into them. I think I'm going to slow down for that there. Hopefully I don't get sucked in. No, I don't. If I kept on going, I would definitely have got sucked into that tornado, unfortunately. Which is fine. Would have been time loss, but not too much. Okay, I'm going to use it there. Why not? Nice. Okay, so how many races have we got left to do? Yep. Okay, so we've got Array next. Then once Array is done, we've then got, I think, three races to do. Unfortunately, there's always this intro sequence, like, give them a running start, you always gotta got, always got get a running start with most of the races. There we go. And we're off. So I think this is the reverse for the first layout, if I remember rightly. So we get to do that loop-de-loop -loop backwards. Won't be in reverse gear, but nevertheless. There we go. Like I said, the handling isn't the best. Once you get used to it, though, it's fine. Could be layout B actually, I'm not sure. Because it's like the two layouts, I think, for each track, which doesn't provide too much. Also, I think we can hit this guy coming out of the pits. Yes, we can. Ha! Whoops. Also, somebody's already smoking. Okay. Out of my way, jump. Nice. Okay, so. Funnily enough, I think we're going to lap the whole field here. If we're that quick, we can actually lap the whole lot. Um, let me just get these. There we go. Okay, so the hovering mode's got a bit to be desired for. There we go. It increases the speed slightly, top speed, I, I believe, of your car. But there's a bit of a problem with it. Which is that it can often go a bit pear-shaped at times. And just leave him that. There we go. Nice. 
Right, so I think we've now got... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, so we've got three races left to go, I think, which is in this final section here. Not even too bad, actually, time-wise. I, I just keep keeping an eye on the time that we're at so far. Hell, so we're going to do two laps of, I think, three circuits, and it's going to be raining on most of them. Also, the weather effects can have a slight limitation on the frame rate, so if we do end up dropping a lot of frames, then that is the reason. In-game, obviously not. Ooh, okay, keep out of the way of him. Nice. Ouch. I'll do a 360 in style. Nice. Okay, that guy's going backwards for no reason. Yeah, these jumps always seem to mess me up for some reason. We always should be fine. And, oh no. Nice. Got around without getting damaged, that's good. So it does make your car slide a tad. Also, that's a flare. It's supposed to blind you, but luckily you can pretty much see where you're going still. It's not too useful. Ah. If he gets taken out now, I'm going to laugh. Come on. No, come on. Sorry if I finish second or third in these races, as long as I win the end. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Nice, okay. Right, so that's the first race done. Phew. Okay, second one. It rains. Funnily enough with this race, is you can see the rain on the screen now. But when we come back around to a lap, that rain's completely gone, I think. It's really weird. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I was doing a run of this the other day, and I was like, this is really weird. Why is it raining at the start, but it doesn't rain anywhere else? Also, the AI can absolutely obliterate you at any moment, so you always have to be cautious of this. I believe you can get your car blown up, but only if you take too much damage. Which, fortunately, shouldn't be too bad. So you notice how with the mines, I'm literally just like, they come straight in, I'm chucking them straight out again. Just because of the fact that, well, someone's going to run over it. Usually the AI behind will run over it. Like said, no. And yeah, pretty much it. I don't think there's much else to explain. It's fairly straightforward anyway. It's all about the race. Go for it. Hey guys, remember that you can donate to the charity with the links below. 90% uh, will be going straight to Young Minds, while 10% will be going to UKSG. Um, but if you want to donate and pick an incentive, we have one open at the moment. We have $50 towards the $100 target, which will be Link Boss and Arjit will play through Metropolis Zone uh, with uh, one controller. So it will be two players, one controller during the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 any percent run. So if you guys want to donate towards that, then that is currently open. Okay, I think it's more like three races to go rather than one, if I remember rightly. I know it raised the last race. So it's probably about now three minutes, four minutes from now. Yeah, I'll be well on the rest of the night at this rate. Honestly, I don't know why they decide to put left and right turns in that, in that bit of the course, because nobody ever does it. And like, you see the AI use it, but you can just take a straightforward line. It's like, mm. you, So you basically gain free time on the AI because they're just daft enough not to use a shortcut. I'd say shortcut, just not to go in a straight line. Also, there's supposed to be boulders that stop you. These boulders are supposed to, supposedly supposed to stop you on track, like, as in supposed to hit them. But by the time, like, they don't really spawn in that much of a great location, so you can literally just drive out of the way of them anyway. You've got plenty of space anyway, it's not too bad. There we go. Let's go. Just 
just leave somebody with a nice little present there. Okay, right. Another ice down. I have no idea which one I'm on now. Which one am I at? Yeah, right, so we've got this one. We've got the canyon race. It's only two laps, fortunately. And then it'll be... Yeah, and then it'll be a ray, and then we'll be done, I think. Like I said, it's a fairly short run. There's not too much involved. Mainly, like I said, just racing to get from A to B. Not too bad. Oh, okay then. Okay, please don't zap me, electric. There we go. Nice. Fire that in mid air. Hopefully that won't come to us. Actually, that's a good idea. I think I should start doing that from now on with this track. Just fire it in mid air. Can't hit you if it's in mid air. Nice. Okay. They somehow managed to hit me with the flare. Right, well done AI. You win this time. You win. Okay, I don't really want to be using this just yet. There we go. That actually went surprisingly well. Nice. So we got one more race, and uh, I think time will be at the end of this race, if I'm right. Yeah, it's alright. Right, this is it, this one. Last race, and that's it. All done and dusted. So, probably looking at about a minute, minute and 15, maybe a minute and 20 seconds. Starting now. Wasn't what I wanted, but okay. I will use a power up because I've got it. Also, the hover mode is a lot harder to drive with, as you can see. Car goes all over the place and even up the side of a wall. Nice. That's better. Okay, wasn't really supposed to do that, but never mind. Mistakes happen. Oh well. There we go. So I think this is the last bit. Ooh. Line up, come on. Please get him, please get him. That did, oh dear, that went horribly wrong. Thankfully, that did not hit me. I was actually expecting that to hit me then. Okay. Christ, that's fine. Good grief. Ooh. Okay, so somebody's... Oh, okay, I thought someone vanished them for some reason. Right, so time is coming up shortly, so get ready on time. And... Time! So what did we get? What was the time? 33 or 6. Woo! Two minutes on my PB, so that's, that's my PB. Nice. What was a 35 something? I think my PB, like, up until like a few days ago, so two minutes on my PB isn't bad. I've got to make up another three and a bit minutes to get world record on. Oh well. I try my best. That's it. Which of it? Oh, we're off.
Hello guys and welcome to UKSG Winter. Uh, you've just had a run from the BPG 13 of uh, drone races. And just at the end of that run, we had a $58 donation from Asterek. It says, hey guys, hope all is going well. Here's a donation to round up the current total. Enjoy the rest of your day, heart. Thank you, Asterek, for your $58 donation. So you are currently watching the United Kingdom Speedrun Gathering, which is a two-day speedrunning event held in Glasgow, Scotland. We are raising money to support Young Minds, a charity leading the fight for a future where all Young Minds are supported and empowered, whatever the challenges. Your donations will help them make sure young people get the best possible mental health support and have the resilience to overcome life's difficulties. 90% of your donations will go to them, and the remaining 10% will be going to uh, to support UKSG for future marathons. Thank you all for donating so far. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to ESA for supporting the marathon. Not only have they given us a platform to stream our marathon from, but they've also provided us with tech and lots of advice on making the marathon possible, so we couldn't thank them enough. Uh, make sure to check out the Euro uh, ESA Winter, which will be held from the 16th and 24th of February. And we have a $10 from Anonymous. Thank you very much. I also want to say a huge thanks to BSG for supporting the marathon, which is the Benelux Speed Gathering. They host monthly speed uh, run marathons in Benelux, in the Netherlands, and they've been supporting UK SG from the beginning, from originally letting us stream on their, uh, their platform, as well as spreading word of our marathon. Uh, make sure to check out their next uh, event, which will be the 2nd and 3rd of March. Remember guys, when you do choose to donate to the uh, the stream, we currently have an incentive open which will be Link Bus and Arjik will play through Metropolis Zone together with one controller, which will be during the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 any percent speed run. Uh, we are currently at $60 towards the $100 target, so if we get $40 towards that, that would be fantastic. Thank you to our own the BPG13 for your $25 donation. He says, let's get to that $1,000, guys. Here's my donation. Let's get there. I know we can. Come on. 
Kolundi. And yep, I think $1,000 is definitely achievable by the end of the marathon, so keep getting those stations in. Thank you. To remind you guys that we do also have a Twitter account. Our handle is UKSG Marathon. Make sure to give that a follow to be uh, so be informed of any future marathons that we do hold. And you can also tweet about the current marathon using our hashtag UKSGW19. And your tweets may be featured on the stream. Okay. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. Hello, welcome to Sonic Adventure 2. Ready on time? <laughs> <laughs> 